and welcome back to some more runs here on American Truck Simulator. My name is Coda. Sorry I did not stream last night, guys. I got asked to sub in a bowling league, so yeah, I was not here. George, Thomas, Sparko, how is it going today, guys? My day so far, awesome like a possum. And today we're just going to be doing some general freight hauling. Nothing really particular special about this stream. We are sitting here in Phoenix at the airport. Our load is a load of frozen food, 40,000 pounds, going over to Santa Rosa in New Mexico. So without any, any further waiting, I am going to shut up, climb into the truck, and get our butts going. And the version of the truck that I am using, George, which is version 2.11, I believe, it does show up in traffic. My replacement wiring harness is not here as of yet, uh, so hopefully later this weekend it will be here. I believe it is being shipped out tomorrow, so we are still currently running a six-speed. Chris, Envious, how is it going today, guys? I'm streaming a little bit, about a half hour earlier than what I normally do, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of like my fault. Oh, are you lovely AI gonna stop for me? How about that? it going today thanks for joining us there on mixer and awesome on the 9400 international eagle hopefully it does get updated next update probably is gonna be in 133 uh, one of the next two updates, more than likely, we are going to be getting the Volvo, and hopefully, if things go well, speculation here on my part, that we'll have special transport by the end of the year. And doing awesome like a possum heartfelt. And yes, I know a Volvo does not sound like this, but as I mentioned previously, I do like my Jake brakes to have a little bit of meaty sound to them. So we are running a Cummins N14. Roger that, Chris. Now that is going to depend on us users actually. So uh, what's going to go on with future map expansions is as long as we keep buying them and SES is making money, we they are going to continue the development. 133 or 134, uh, more than likely I'm going to say 133 is going to be the Volvo VNL. 134 unless it's released with the Volvo will be special transport. That's just a guess on my part though. Well, I could Thomas. 
mean, granted, uh, if you want to see how bad I suck in Euro Truck Simulator 2, we can definitely do that. seeing on the steam discussion board is a lot of people are thinking every single state is going to cost 12 bucks uh not likely and the reason they started on the west coast and this is just going to say this is going to be my take on this is that the states on the west coast are larger once we get east of the mississippi actually more east of like colorado the states become a lot smaller so there's a good chance when we get to the East Coast, we will be seeing bundles of states, not individuals. I have one mod for ETS2 and that is a Scania engine sound. to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. I would say Georgia is one of the larger southern states. That might be in the description below the video there, Heartfelt. If it isn't, just let me know and I will uh, read off my specs. I do appreciate it. Well, Thomas, I'm only running like 20, well, probably 25 to 35 mods. I am not running a whole lot of them, to be honest with you. And there's some that are active that are not even being used, such as the interior exterior reworks mod, because I'm not running an SCS truck. Oh geez, pumpkin mobile, really? I have not driven for a couple of days and right now it is really noticeable.
you can do it chrome-wise, chicken-wise, and not so much. Now, there's a lot of Facebook gr groups out there, Chris, to where I am not sure if the CT660 has been updated for 1.32 or not. I am nowhere near in the amount of Facebook groups that some people are. I believe special transport is going to be awesome. six-speed it the, this transmission it's more built for an automatic and doing the shifting with a six-speed absolutely sucks hey Ron how are you doing today thanks for joining in on the stream I've never had a problem downloading mods from the workshop, Thomas. And fixed truck traffic, what do you mean, Ron? Is that heartfelt? Uh, I normally don't get my mods from any third party mod websites anymore. And I'll just usually grab them from the SCS forums or from the Steam Workshop. Now, a lot of mod creators do use share mods. And unless you are running a very good script and ad blocker, you are going to get bombarded with ads and pop-ups on those sites. So be very careful what you download. Sometimes you just have to wait for the save now or whatever and in whatever browser that you're using to become active. Never been to Macon. 
Dejan, how's it going today? Great to see you. My day is going awesome. I've been down to the Gulf Coast, Huma, Louisiana. Those mods might conflict with each other, so you may need to remove one in order to use the other. How are you doing today? Ah, roger that there, Ron. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, Chrissy. Right now, we are on our way to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. I forgot that I did not fuel up this truck the last time that I used it, so we had to stop and get ourselves some go-go juice. Ow, oh, I doubt if we're going to see the Volvo this week. trucks are in the game people are always going to be asking when when are we getting this when are we getting that it's going to be a never ending cycle One amusement park that I have never been to that I do want to get to. One second here guys I do need to change something here very quickly uh, something with my cruise control I have it set for five miles nah uh, can't do ten I guess I'm gonna have to do five okay no big deal I thought there was one in there for like two seriously AI are you oh my goodness I don't think I could do that again if I tried haven't been to either one George I did a trip from Astoria to Hobbs New Mexico 
it was right around 2,000 miles. I seriously want to know how I got through that traffic stop back there with the cops without hitting anything. And like you use a mod, George, I believe it might be the longest. And yes, you will need both of those DLCs. Let's see, bypass or we pull in? Alright, sweet, bypass. Well, now that the map team is split into two, we may be getting two maps next year. And my speculation on those states is going to be Utah and Washington. Actually, everything here in this game is quite a bit harder than what I had to do in real life, to be honest with you. These companies in the game are quite on the small side compared to the way that they actually are, at least in the base map itself. I mean, Oregon is a lot better. New Mexico was better than base map. The only reason we're going to be getting Washington is SCS did confirm the 101 going from Los Angeles all the way up to the north side of, what is that going to be up there, Seattle? Uh, if that's even, I'm not, it's going to go all the way through Washington. I do know they want that route to be done completely. I honestly believe they are going to be holding off on adding any state DLCs without connecting to the base map first. So I do see Utah happening before Washington.
here someone left a comment in one of my streams when I mentioned that Texas won't be released until minimum 2020. I, yeah, I completely stand. He goes, oh, that that's not going to happen. We're going to have it next year. Uh, more than likely, we are not. And it could also be very, very possible that the next state might even might not have anything to do with Washington, but Utah and Colorado, since they both border the ma the base map. Well, Colorado, not really so much. It would uh, connect to Utah and New Mexico. But I can definitely see, if not Colorado, maybe Idaho, because there is spots in New, in, uh, New Mexico, yeah, in Nevada that you would be able to get into Idaho. So, I mean, it could be Utah and Idaho. We don't have any idea. More free states? No, not likely. Not unless SES decides to drop a gift on us. And watch if they do decide to do a gift. Watch them. Watch it be just to test out what they're going to do for DLC, non-DLC dependency to get to another state, watch them give us Rhode Island. And, sorry, that's a joke, guys. Do not take that seriously. when we're looking at the states yes everybody has Arizona but that was on, only supposed to be included with those who had pre-purchased the game and then otherwise Arizona was supposed to be the first paid expansion because of delays with Arizona they decided to give it to everybody at no cost SCS has kind of set the bar for themselves, especially with Oregon with the way it looks. The future map expansions are just going to keep getting better and better. If they go back to what they did with New Mexico, California, or Arizona, they will literally shoot themselves in the foot. New Mexico is not bad, but uh, right now, Oregon, absolutely the best state that they have ever released.
right now, I don't see Alaska being added unless they add the west coast of Canada. Download what, Martin? compared to the base map, George. And there's a link right at the top of the page, Martin. Oh yeah, Coast to Coast keeps getting better and better. Mantrid is definitely working on that. Just with SCS content, you gotta be patient. Might be a couple on the Steam Workshop Chrome Trucker, otherwise I have no idea. copy and paste but they I would imagine Metroid is now going to add things from Oregon into further updates and that's the way the cycle is going to go the first reiterations of the map were just copy of cities from Nevada California Arizona when New Mexico was added there were copies of the cities from New Mexico in other parts of the map not ran coast to coast 2.6 as of yet uh, there were some issues in there and I completely lost the thread on how to even get them fixed longer hauls coast to coast is definitely a good mod to have apparently viva mexico is very good too now i would love to see pro mods for ats Well, 
if you don't have all of the DLCs, Martin, that would be why. Yep, stupid me stalled the truck, and this is probably the one of the worst parking spots to get into in the game, besides rail export having to go around that stupid barrier that they have in there. And if you don't hit this just right, you're going to be doing what I am doing here, and constantly backing up, pulling backing up, pulling forward, trying to get into the spot. Alright, now we should be able to do it with one more pull up. have not got my mail yet and the button box is not coming until tomorrow. And where the heck should we go? Because there's probably not a whole lot of freight right here in Santa Rosa. Uh, let's go to... We're going to go right back across 40. Might as well go ahead and go to Kingman. Uh, yeah, this definitely is not built for a 53 with a sleeper. they have not as of yet. avoid anything by heavy Alex with a passion some people like his map but if you like paying for every single update go for it if you don't avoid it
don't even bother with the free version of MHA Pro, there is absolutely nothing in it. I had actually bought MHA Pro for version 1.28, and then when 1.29 came or come around, he's like, "Oh, you won't, you want the latest updates? Give me another three dollars." And I had purchased this at the time when the website said lifetime free updates. So, I mean, if he would have just gave it to me and then said, "This is the model that we're going to," I would have been fine. But no, he had to be a dick about it and wanted more money. I will not pay for every single update and good thing I took a screenshot of his webpage that said free lifetime updates because it was very very easy for PayPal when I filed a dispute. I wouldn't know where to find it Martin to be honest with you. I haven't heard that it's been updated. I did see the SES vlog trailer on the workshop as ownable. I mean, if that's going to be only limited to the log jobs, you're going to be running around empty an awful lot of the time. Martin, the reason why I said it's not coming till tomorrow, it never went out for delivery today. And what I'm referring to is my button box. I mean, it got to my city this morning at like 520, and then it never went through sorting. So I have to wait until tomorrow to get it, which means I won't be streaming with it until Friday. Oh yeah, it's the same thing with a coal bucket, actually. When I drove those, you take a load of coal to a power plant, you run back to the stripping mine empty, get loaded, and repeat. And that's what I did all day long on some days for 10 hours. That will add more cities, but it does not add more companies. It adds one or two companies into each of the cities, and that is about it.
And if I said Martin, I'm sorry, that was directed at you, LeVar. work tomorrow and I'm not going to sit on hold with the United States Postal Service for an hour to say, hey, I'm going to pick that up instead. And it's like, screw it. I, I have a bowling league tomorrow night. It doesn't matter what time it gets here. Oh yeah, I do have a BART trailer. It hasn't been updated for 1.32 yet. definitely going to do that, LeVar. I'm more than likely going to have to change where it is sitting at, though, in order for you guys to see it. Or move everything over to the left a little bit, so the shifter and button box will kind of fit in the same frame. Here, Chrissy. How do you get paid, Chris? Like, gross of the truck or by the load? Or maybe if you're lucky, you get paid by the hour. I was gonna say having to sit around and wait for them to spray that that would like literally really cut into your paycheck and if I could actually talk today it would be another miracle As much as I hate LeVar, I might actually not turn the camera on until I've got my Mega Shifter working again.
Yes, it does need to go into your mod folder, Martin. should already have a mod folder in Documents American Truck Simulator. You shouldn't have to create one. There are videos on YouTube on how to create uh, a mod to upload onto the workshop. Alright, thank you back there driver. One thing with the workshop though, if you have any errors in the log whatsoever, the workshop will not allow the mod to go through it won't, and it will tell you what needs to be fixed too.
Hey Speedy, how's it going today? I'm doing awesome. Hope you're having a fine hump day. That is great to hear. I've made a couple, not a whole lot, like maybe four or five, and that is about it. No, we are in... Gallimim's edit of Frank Peru's VNL 860. Good thing I was paying attention or I would have slammed that car in the rear end.
Mr. Blue Jeans, how's it going today? Take care, Junior. Safe travels and make sure you keep that shiny side up. currently running on I-40 westbound right in the middle of Arizona on our way to Kingman. No, because if you don't have a truck that uses that Volvo dealer LeVar, it turns it back into a large repair center. are in a Volvo VNL 860 today. Mr. Sykes, how is it going today? Oh no, we are in a conventional. running the light. Let's go ahead and back up before cars get behind us. I should really call myself Shiny Hiney Transport since I very seldom use painted doors on the back of the trailer. It's always something chrome. And here I am 
am wearing sweatpants today and I keep sliding down in my chair. And doing awesome like a possum today, Mr. Sykes. Because that car was sitting there, no idea which way he was going. We did have to what's called a button hook to go around that corner. That's to make sure that we weren't running up over the curb on there. I do appreciate it. We've got a Cummins N14 underneath the Volvo today. Martin, except I normally don't stream farm sim. Of course, we can't bump the dock. I forgot Costco. At least this one, we're, we're not able to. And let's see what we got. We got some... Oh, actually, it's not how about that. Packaging or empty pallets. It's a fun game to play, Martin. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this load of household appliances. Only 25 and a half thousand pounds. Hopefully the truck doesn't pull like a sieve going up any grades going through California. Home Depot needs, to, needs some more appliances. That's what I'm saying.
I'm more than likely that is the case, Andy. You are able to change the email address on your account, though, and that would be underneath your profile settings. What you may need, what you might be able to do also, Andy, is on the new account that you created, some games that do allow for family sharing. That is one option to take a look into to set, see if you would be able to play ATS on that new profile. reason I've mentioned this hundreds of times before this flyby camera view as the truck goes flying by I cannot drive in this I am all over the road That is why, because your games are on Steam are actually tied to your account with that email address. So either you're going to want to see if you can change the email address on your previous account, or log back into your previous account and see if you can enable family share for ATS. Just a regular horn today, George. Trucker Aaron, how's it going today? Thanks for joining in on the stream. should be able to do a password reset. 
this is the VNL 860. This is the Gellamum edit of Frank Peruse. This truck can be downloaded on the SCS forums, and I am using version 2.11. Thank you, LeVar. And the one that I drove, George, was... I actually went with my brother when he drove for metal transportation. It was not an extended hood. It was just a regular 379. This is, would be extremely simple, Aaron. What you would want to do is go to the SCS forums. You will click on American Truck Simulator. After that next page loads, you're going to click on Mods. And then that's going to load again. You're going to click on Models. And then you're going to go into the Truck section. And look for the thread of the, it would say like 1 point dot something slash 2.11. This is version 2.11, and you'll just open up the link there on the first posting in the thread. It will take you to a Google Drive page, and that you would download the mod. Then you drop it into your Documents American Truck Simulator mod folder, and then activate it in the Mod Manager. Well, it was a set forward front axle, George, so... I am not sure how much longer the extended hood was. Looks like we are going to have to be making a stop before we get to Oregon and get ourselves some more go-go juice. We are almost down to a quarter tank there. just contacting Steam to see what they would be able to get done for you. I know with my work with Amazon, if a customer no longer has access to the email account they made their account under, we are able to change it. But that's Amazon. I am not sure if Steam would be able to do the same thing. Welcome there, Trucker Aaron. 
And if you do happen to forget anything that I mentioned, just do a search on YouTube, how to install mods in ATS. Lots of people have already made videos on how to do it. their customer service hours open. Customer service hours open? Holy moly, Coda. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if they... They might not have 27... 24-7 technical support. Uh, so I would check to see what time their support hours are open. Was that 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time or Eastern Daylight Time? Or Central or Mountain? George. I am probably not having pizza for dinner, and I haven't eaten yet well, eaten yet, eaten, whatever, more than likely after this run up to Coos Bay is going to be the end of today's stream. Whatever I make for dinner, though, I do need to make it, so, uh, yeah. Uh, if you call that 10 a.m. local time, that would only be 7 on the West Coast.
they should have put on the back of that trailer instead of the 1-800-123 or 555-1234, they should have put 1-844-PRIDE. Go drive for the pumpkin patch. Never drove for a large carrier, George. Mr. Blue Jeans. How is it going? No further news other than they are currently working on it. I'm going to be guessing we should be seeing it hopefully sometime November. Appreciate it there, Bobby. Mm. 
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna skip the 99 and go right over to the 5. I think we're gonna pull in right up here and get ourselves some of that go-go juice. That way we don't have to worry about it. Oh, we'll get there eventually, Josh. And I don't stream for the money or anything like that. It's all being done for entertainment. that you would outside of this would be if I gave you information for a discord or some kind of other voice uh, recognition thing thingamajig or whatever. chicken coop are we gonna get pulled in or we get the bypass sweet we got the bypass Now 
see what happens when you go speeding through California, you get pulled over like that. could just be it being pulled over could be the end of a high speed chase eh, whatever it is holy moly coda keep it between the lines ah we're in california there's nothing wrong with a little bit of lane surfing And as always, guys, if you are enjoying today's live stream, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Want a notification every time I go live or upload a video? Make sure you enable those by clicking on the gray bell. One thing also that I'm hoping with the 1.33 update besides the Volvo VNL will be hopefully another trailer for ownership. We don't have the low boys as of yet and we don't have any tankers. So I'm hoping we'll get one of those with 1.33, if not, maybe both.
Mr. Goodwill, I hate when you guys slam on your brakes. I think what I'm going to do once we get on the northern side of San Fran, we're going to hop over to Highway 1 and we'll go up through some big old redwoods. Let me get that changed right now as a matter of fact. It, yep, actually it has us going up through the 101 the whole way, so that's actually perfect. Don't need to change anything. Uh, CST Gaming, this is Gallimim's edit of Frank Peru's model. Uh, definitely very much improved and a lot easier on FPS. Frank Peru, when he does his mods, yes, he gives us trucks that we want, but they are so poorly optimized, it's not even funny. SES Forums. This is version 2.11, I believe, if I'm remembering things correctly. There's going to be two versions that Gellman did edit. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm running version 2. There is version 1 also. If you do download both of them, only have one active at a time as the mods do conflict with each other.
uh, oops. Uh, yep, you guys saw that. I just hit that car. idea, Sparko. That's it, Mr. AI. Go flying by me and then slow down. You get the good old one finger salute.
we should be getting into the Redwoods here very, very shortly. I sure hope I'm not screwing this up uh, by saying the Redwoods and it's actually going like up through Weed and Crescent City and like that. So uh, we're, let's hold off here for just a moment. I do know here on the north side of Ukiah is if we are going to get them, this is where they're going to be at. This should be ending very soon up here. We should drop into a two lane and a little bit further north is where we hopefully will run into those redwoods. We just hit some tree branches. Bye bye to my windshield. Now, you guys are seeing Laytonville there on the GPS, and the reason for that is I am running the U.S. Cities expansion. So that does add in a few cities here in Northern California, a couple in Arizona and like Vaughn and Santa Rosa, Carrizozo in New Mexico, nothing added for Oregon as of yet. Hey, Daryl, how's it going today?
and apparently I had misspoken about dropping into a two lane. Um, it, that should be coming up here very shortly. I thought it was further back. Yeah, here we go. We are getting into the redwoods. You can see how big these uh, trees are getting. sweetness I know a lot of the B trains that are out there already they are not working with 132 I believe This traffic actually looks like the city that I live in, which is like a city of 10,000 people, but the traffic is absolutely amazing for where I live. That's one thing that's kind of weird with the doubles and triples. You can change those in Oregon and get about triples for just about every single load. You drop down to Nevada and you barely see them.
yeah, that says Crescent City closed, but uh, yeah, the road is completely open. That's already been reported as a bug, so that will be fixed. Daryl? The game right now will only run on one CPU core, so in this instance it's going to be, it's more graphics intensive than it is CPU. Hey Brenton, how's it going today? Hoping that next year when we do get DX11 that we get a, another performance tick on the upside and seeing that on December 31st Steam is ending support for XP and Vista and XP especially cannot run more than DX9. Cummins N14 underneath the hood on this. Uh, 
Sparkle, more than likely 133 is going to be the Volvo VNL, or it might be another 132. But in case it's not the Volvo, 133 more than likely then would be Special Transport. If not Special Transport, then it would... It, that depends if we get 133 and that's the Volvo or if they just uptick the 132 up to another version number. Hey Cameron, how's it going today? the best thing about ATS you don't have to deal with any work on them it's pretty much a button push if you need to repair This would look absolutely gorgeous at sunset.
Highway and I do not know how to drive the speed limit up there. to add if SCS did have a CB radio to where you could throw insults at the AI that would be hilarious and one second guys I knocked my track IR off my hat hey yeah let's try not to do that again Welcome to Coos Bay. Looks like the wrong time to go into Coos Bay. We're hitting every single traffic light.
I do have high blood pressure, Martin, but my meds do not make me sleepy. almost blew a stop sign. Oh, I hear I thought we were going to the store. It looks like we're going to one of the distribution locations. You just screwed up. Yeah, so we're going to be making the same maneuver over again because I turned the wheel the wrong way. trailer wasn't there in front of us we had definitely been in here more than likely in one shot but yeah I do want to thank you guys for watching today's live stream of American Truck Simulator. My name is Coda. Channel's name, as you can see, is Amazing ATS. Once again, if you did enjoy today's content, make sure you give the stream a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, slap that red subscribe button. And I do hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday evenings. As always, keep that shiny side up, and we'll see you on the flip-flop.